see all of you guys, you feel the same way that I feel. How many here feel that your position, if it, if it isn't the most important, is close on campus? Because for me, I feel as if your position is the most important position on campus. Think about it. You deal with your own struggles, right? You deal with everything that goes on in your life. Everything. You deal with everything as far as classes. You deal with your boyfriends, your girlfriends, your mother, your mother or your father not trying to pay your, pay your loans or not trying to give you the money that you need to make sure that you can stay in school. Then you have to turn around and deal with students inside of your dorm room who are going through the same things on top of the freshmen who don't know no better. Everybody's drunk. <laughs> Everybody wants to fight, and then everybody's trying to sneak into someone else's room to get something late at night. Okay. <laughs> then now you're trying to figure out, that now, and, and, and then think about it. You're trying to separate who you are on the outside from what makes sense for your position. Because before some of you were RAs, you probably was doing some things on, on that late night trying to find some stuff to see what was going on. And then trying to separate who you were. And then saying, you know what? I understand. I understand the urges. I understand all the daily things that you go through, but that's not the proper way to go about it. So when you think about dealing with those things, that's tough. Picture all that weight. That's like that's like walking in through these doors, and as soon as you walk in and you put that that RA on your chest or that CA on your chest, and I know some CAs in here. And you put that on your chest, as soon as you put it on your chest, you walk up like this. So instead of me being 6'4", and I'm confident, and I'm cocky, and I feel as if I can do a whole lot of things, I become about 5'6". There's nothing wrong with 5'6". <laughs> 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 All right. But if you're 6'4", you can't be feeling 5'6". So right? let me just say this. I thought he was 5'7". That's why I said 5'6". <laughs> I felt as if I went underneath the way he was, he was going to let me slide. <laughs> But sometimes you can't read people's minds regardless of how you <laughs> So you're walking up in there. So now, when I come into the building, instead of me being 6'4", feeling like I could go dunk on somebody, anybody still playing under the apes? Yeah. Okay, well, I feel like Caesar now. You see it? I feel like Caesar now. So now I'm carrying the weight of everything that's going on in my life and everybody else's. I got to motivate people. I got to push you. Oh, you know what? It's okay, though. What's your name Abigail. Abigail, you know what? It's okay. You can get through your work. You can do this. Don't worry about it. Don't let it stress you. And then when you turn around, oh my goodness. Damn, boyfriend pissing me off. <laughs> <laughs> Teacher's trying to give me F's. My code is getting on my nerves. Like, Greg, what's the problem? Don't you understand? Do, do your programs. <laughs> do your programs. You're killing me. Don't be on tour so long. Come back to the desk. Come on, I'm downstairs all by myself. Like, picture. These are the type of things you gotta go for. I'm sitting here, and those two drunk guys come up, and you disappear. And I'm here by myself. That happens? That happens, right? No? <laughs> so, yeah, you right. So you should just let me say that, because that's things that I see from other schools. That's what y'all supposed to say. No, that's how you get out of school. But those are the type of things that you're going through. So you're going through all these things. You're pushing, and you're trying to fight. And every time you turn around, there's another person grabbing on your leg. You feel like you're carrying them. Then, you, then you're carrying from the dean, and they're talking about, you know, we're going to cut some money. Or something else isn't going to happen. But every day you turn around, think about it. When I turn around the first time, I'm Abigail. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm moving my hair. Moving my hair. <laughs> <laughs> And then and, and you, you got a frown on your face when you turn this way because you're trying to figure out how you're going to hold all this stuff on your back. And then when you turn back around, after you took a drink of water, I'm kind of thirsty, don't sit down. And you turn back around, and then you got to have a smile back on your face. And then you're like, hey, well, you know what, how we go? That's okay, bro. You know, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every day you go through life, you deal with these type of things. That's tough. And, it, and it's crazy to say some adults can't handle certain things. So when you talk about those counselors and you hear all these things, you hear somebody, you know what, I think somebody tried to break up my room, or somebody raped me, or you're going through all these different issues, how do you actually take some of those things and, like we call it, we say, internalize the issue, and then we push it back out. Because one thing we don't want to do is internalize it and we make it a part of us. Because mm -hmm. when we make it a part of us, Instead of when you turn around and when the summer comes, you done left that baggage, you're taking it home with you. Now you're talking about you mad at your boyfriend, your boyfriend mad at 
I'm quiet today, but I took a lot of that. Hey, yo, T.O. He was he like 300 pounds. Hey, yo, T.O., man, I'm just calling you. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. So like, baby, wipe the cold off my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, who's this thing? Bro. So, I, I, hello? Who this? Hey, yo, T.O. Yeah, who this, though? With his head, man. What's going on, yo? Yo, you know what's up? Look, you know, hold on. I'm looking at my. What's this going on? Yo, <laughs> yeah, what you want? <laughs> and my pops is that. He in the high school. The first person he called was me. Think about that. The first person he called. So look, I started getting emotional with it now. So the first person he called when his pops, when it went beep, was me. Was me. Because when I said we family, he took that to the, he took that with him. He said, yo, I didn't know who else to call, but I felt as if I should call you. Now me being who I am, and maybe it's because I was a little tired, I said, and you woke me, and you, and you, you tried to wake me up. So he said, I figured if I woke you up, it might make me feel good. I said, you know what, it's only right. It's only right. I said, you know what, it's a, it's a tough situation that you're, about, that you're going through right now. But that kind of makes sense, because that's what you guys do too. But you know what, I love you like a brother. We spent 45 minutes on the phone, and me going through the whole, whole thing with them. Whole thing with them. And that's what happens when that person banging on your door and talking about, I need to talk. That's the impact that you guys make. And best believe, anytime something happens, somebody else texts me. Bro, I'm thinking he texted me to say, I heard you was outside doing something crazy. You better watch out because you're going to get beat back. By your girl. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm like, yo, I don't do these things no more. I do not do these things. Jersey that day, those are old. I left those in New Jersey. Jersey. Good. <laughs> so, I was picking up. He, he looking for me for three days. I'm talking about three days. And I'm trying to figure out, and this is another football team member. He, he came in when I was a captain. And, I, and he was like, bro, I've been looking for you. I'm like, yo, what's going on? What did I do? <laughs> yo, a family member of mine was just diagnosed with cancer. My eye, automatically, my, 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 my eyes start watering because I'm the type of person, as soon as somebody tells me something, I jump into their shoes. And I'm feeling his pain. And I'm on the phone, and you know when you're talking to somebody and you're trying to tell them, don't cry? I'm trying not to cry, and I'm like, yeah, yo. It's totally together. Sometimes things happen. You know what? But she's going to be good. We're going to pray. Look, you might not be able to bring this into school, but I'm going to tell you. I bust it out. Jermaine, Jermaine, he's a warrior. He's a warrior. He do this prayer thing. And I smoke it the whole way. We pray. We, we, we get it in before we go into an event. And, and, and best believe, I have never been the most spiritual. I haven't always been the most spiritual person. I'm working towards it. It's to that, now, that's that baggage also. That's that baggage also. Because real talk, regardless of what you believe in, and I, and I don't want to bring it here, but there's something else out there that's pushing us through this. And when that person knocked, and when that person said that, and he said, yeah, my mother, when he said his mother, real talk, tears start dropping out my eyes. And I'm trying not, and I'm like, how do I help him get through this without making the situation worse? That's our race. That's our race. When you think about your situation, you're like, damn, that could be my mother. That could be my mother going through all these different things. How do I help this person get through this? How do I help this person get through this without bringing them down and making the situation worse? Give them your all. Give them your all. Give them your, give them your all. That's why your, your, that's why your position is so important. Because you're on the ground level and you're right in their faces. And when somebody running up to you, you gotta look at them. Sometimes you wanna run. So like with your friends, you see, oh, the drunk person come, y'all yeah, going to him. <laughs> you, he might not even see it. <laughs> he might not even see it. But the, but the crazy thing about it, what's your name again? John. And you're a new already, right? John don't know, don't know nothing about it. All he's done is a few different trainings, but he hasn't been through the situation. So when you run on him, he might mess the whole situation up and that person died right here. That's how I'm, it's crazy to say how, how little how little decisions, the little decisions that we're, that we're faced with can actually make things so much larger, so much bigger. And that's the thing that we always got to hold on to. They told us, they said, you know what? Help them understand the impact that they have. I said, I hope they know. I hope they know. Even with all those bad, we, we, call, we, we call it the hard work ground war. Even with the chairs in your back, ah, you're getting low on them. You're getting low on them. You get alone because I'm like, you know what? It hurts. It's tough.
But to save somebody's life, every time somebody says something, you just like saving somebody else's life. Because that one thing that you said is the thing that might stop them from jumping off that bridge. Every time. I don't care if it's their grades. If they need help to go push through something, that's what you guys are here for. And it's about 25 or 30 of y'all, but that's what you're here for. And best believe when another RA comes to you, you got to look at it the same way. Because there's some people that I know I don't like. There's some people who call me who I do not like. I tell you no lie. I do not like them. <laughs> but when you preach, when you preach it, it's tough to practice it, but you gotta run through it. Bro, then somebody can beat me down. Yo, yo, you do. I'm on my way. Oh, man. Yo, all right, come on, man. Come on, yo. Come on, yo. Look, I got him over here. Rub the blood off. All right, you good, man. Come on. And, and, I, and I gotta bring him with me, because that's what our job is. As an RA. And that's every time that we turn around, we go hard. That's, what, that's the type of thing that you guys should be thinking about. We go hard. We take on all situations. It's sort of like instead of you running, you stand in here and all the brick walls just come at you. Picture that. In life, you walk and you run into barriers. As an RA, you stand somewhere and barriers just hit you. And then it's trying to figure out how you get through them. Something that we always talk about is two things. And after this, I'll, I'll let Tremaine take it to the top. It's a process to be successful. It's a process to be successful. Take this from home with you. It's a process to be successful. You don't just wake up and think that things are going to happen for you. You got to put the work in to get there. And it's not, it's to set a goal. It's to set a goal. I'm going to be the best all rated I can this year. The best. But how am I going to get there? Because if I'm going to be the best, I mean, I can't let Abigail go to the wayside. I can't say, you know what, because my boyfriend came over, he got an overnight pass, we're going to make sure we go by the rules. He got an overnight pass, I'm not going to open up this door when it's already banging on my door and say, I'm going to other person banging on my door and say, I need help. No. Every time, I'm rolling over. And the second point that we always go by is it's that hard work drum. Life, that's life. So when you take that, it's a process to be successful, and you combine that hard work grind, instead of standing here and waiting for the barriers, you run through them. You run through them. And then when they get to you, you juke them. You juke them. And you can't run through them, you're spinning on them. And then sometimes, even though none of y'all might not have no ups like me, <laughs> you start hurting them with bad forms. With bad forms, but you're getting over them. And then that's making sure that we take it to the top every time. So I'll leave you with this. I broke my watch mess around the job. <laughs> now, when the impact that you have on the individuals that you deal with, now, when the impact that you have on the individuals that you deal with, understand that it's a process to be successful and it's that hard work ground for you to get there. Take those three things with you. Regardless of everything else that we say, you take those three things with you, and this year is going to be a hell of a year. They're going to talk about this school year. Right here, so we're going to save and we're going to help a lot of people. Because that's what it's about. Every time, every time, every time we go somewhere and somebody calls on us to help, we take the challenge on. Full blast. Full blast.